I'm the last one. Today we're going to be watching Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner threatens Kanye after he exposes after he exposes Kim and Kylie deaths. This is by drama. Oh my god, my eyelashes. This is by drama investigator. The original video will be in the description box below. Please come in what you want me to write to next. And let's see this video. I didn't I didn't know they had dance child. This is probably why they do it. Kanye other West. Stuff. Chris Jenner has come out to put Kanye West on blast for exposing her children's heavy debts. The Kardashian West family has been known for always keeping things interesting with their many dramas and scandals. And this time it's about Kim's financial situation as well as her younger sister Kylie Jenner's financial situation. Apparently Kim and Kylie are in a lot of debt at the moment, running into millions of... Well, I think Kylie is probably isn't that because her makeup's not doing good. I remember when people was like, this is her makeup was like very cheap, even though it was like very, very expensive. It was like cheap makeup. Like you could tell it was cheap makeup and you can buy like better makeup at a, um, a drugstore. You could probably buy 10 times better makeup at a grocery, at a, not a grocery store, but um, a, what should we call it? A drugstore. And when um and when um Rihanna came out with Fenty and her makeup was the best and all of this stuff and she didn't need hype from a big family and all of this stuff. Um that's when Kylie tried to make better makeup and make her makeup more exclusive because that was what Rihanna was doing because she was a black girl and she was thinking about the black girls because we didn't have a lot of makeup around. We didn't have a lot of makeup catered to us and now we do. Billions of dollars. Now people want to keep up. And while Chris Jenner is not happy about Kanye West running his mouth on Kim yes. and the rest of her family's personal business and debts, fans are left wondering if this is the end of the Kardashian era. Well, I can actually see her on being a dad now because of Travis Scott. She, he, I feel like he did mess it up a little bit with the um, Astro Festival and stuff. And she was like, and it was like not, they was not even apologizing. They was like, you know what? I feel like it was, you never mind. Because why are they all in so much debt? The Kardashian sisters are known for their lavish lifestyles, which they heavily promote all over social media. But you know, behind the scenes, it's a completely different story. And fans are now starting to question if Kim has been lying to them about how rich she really is. As we all know, Kylie Jenner lied about her billionaire status, but it appears that yeah, Kylie Jenner- I heard that they said, oh, she was the youngest billionaire before she even hit a million dollars isn't the only one you know, lying so now kim has always me. been sketchy when it comes to money and she's been known to do some really shady stuff in the past the fact that she hasn't gone to jail or gotten a criminal conviction is very telling and it shows you that money can buy the best lawyers now if you didn't already know kim was accused of stealing from brandy when she worked as her closet assistant back in the day she was granted a one-time access to her credit card that was managed by brandy's mom but kim actually said secretly kept the card details for many years after she'd stopped working for Brandy. And then Kim, Chloe and Rob used this card to make purchases from their clothing stores. They tried to disguise this and make it look like it was income from their clothing stores, but they still got caught. And Brandy's mom was furious. However, Brandy and Ray J gave Kim a chance to return the money without taking the legal route. But when Kim didn't cough up the cash for over a year, legal action was taken. The, essentially, the lawsuit was dropped and there was a lot of drama behind the scenes because Ray J revealed that the theft is the reason why he actually broke up with Kim in the first place. But as soon as y'all stole all that money from my sister and the court granted my sister to the win and y'all had to pay my sister back, like, what, 700000 something like that. Y'all stole like 850000 from my sister and some of the kids. Y'all got caught. Y'all was, was guilty. 
Don't have no light skin cast, y'all. Please like do not have no light skin cast. And then Kim allegedly had that sugar daddy named Joe Lowe, not who she'd been accused daddy. of helping to launder illegal money. She obviously denied this and got investigated by the FBI, and people called her out for being an alleged porta potty or doing you know what with him for 250 grand cash that she claimed that she won in a casino with him. But if that's the case, why was she hiding 250 grand cash in a trash bag? See, so yeah, there were accusations of money laundering back then, and all this illegal activity over the years has led fans to believe that Kim is very shady with money, and so are her family. Now, it's still unclear what exactly Kim's involvement was in all of that, but yeah, it does make you wonder what else she's been hiding over the years. And then, of course, the FBI reportedly investigated Kim, but no charges were brought against her. Ever since Kanye started talking shit about Kim and Kylie and the whole Kardashian cruise Child, you did not have a problem with this when they when you was um, married to her. <laughs> this is given. <laughs> this is going um to the um Kaya Kaya in the um trap trap house baby daddy um thing. You did not have a problem with them when you was together, but once y'all not together, why do you have a problem with it now? But I'm here for I'm here for this. Finances. People have been raising eyebrows, and this obviously brought light to the California community church that they were all involved in, and they used this as a way to evade taxes. So the California community church was a non-profit organization founded by Kardashian manager Kris Jenner back in 2009. Members were required to pay a monthly fee of $1,000 and donate lots of money. And literally recently, this was brought up, and Kris Jenner has been under lots of scrutiny for this, as well as her kids because apparently they were using this church purely as a way to evade taxes. Now, Kim was seen crying in the recent Kardashian season. You already rich. You don't even... Some people that are already rich, they barely even pay taxes anyway. It's probably like... Your tax is probably like $100. And you... <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. Three trailer. She was literally bawling her eyes out to Chloe, pretty much about Kanye and her divorce and all the drama going down there. No, so fans are now there. speculating was she actually having a full on her. meltdown for another reason? Is it because Kanye had been open in interviews about Kim's financial situation and major debts that she has? And not just that, he was out here exposing her entire family and would not shut up. There was nothing that Kim could do to stop him and she had to stay silent during all of this. Now bear in mind that all happened last year and since then Kanye had to get remarried to his new wife Bianca and he's been very quiet since his marriage to Bianca and it appears that he doesn't give two shits about wife. Kim and her family anymore except his kids obviously again. but he hasn't even been spending that much time with them and as we know his kids didn't even meet Bianca until well after he got married to her so yeah emotions were high for Kim and I guess she just maybe broke down in the new you. series trailer maybe she's feeling sad as well because Kanye is no longer obsessing over her and she's got no one. She doesn't even have Pete Davidson anymore and Pete does And she was getting a lot of um when he would like say stuff about her and say bad stuff about her and Pete Davidson, she would look better in the limelight. I really want to have anything to do with her. So I can imagine that she would be going through the gigs, but I yeah, during the time of filming, she was probably really upset about the fact that Kanye wouldn't stop talking about her and her whole financial situation. It's very weird how defensive the whole Kardashian crew get over their finances, especially None of these hoes look the same. <laughs> Kanye wouldn't stop talking about her and her whole financial situation. It's very weird how defensive. Look at this. Look at this, child, child, oof. None of y'all hoes look the same.
Serve the whole case you know, she could get over their finances especially when kylie got exposed for not actually being a billionaire and lying about all that that was like a huge drama that went down they seemed really really annoyed by that and kylie was already annoyed that people weren't calling her self-made it's pretty clear Child, she you... wasn't so i don't know why they Child, you know you ain't self-made you need to stop you literally had a whole show you literally had a whole ass show about your family and you was in the you was in it. I'm pretty sure you had a check too. You had you probably had you a little piece on the side. You are not Sophie Child, so sorry. Obsessed over how the public perceive their financial situation and why they're so obsessed with that. Are their heads really that far up their asses? See, at the moment, people think that Kim is pissed because it's all going well for Kanye now. And like she said in the trailer, she's had to unfairly shut her mouth and not defend herself at all when he was coming for her. And that fully humiliated her. Oh Chris, as we all know, is super defensive of her children. But she can't defend her kids all the time because the truth will eventually come out. Now, when Kanye was losing his shit, the Kardashians were trying their hardest to put a conservatorship over Kanye's estate before him and Kim's divorce was finalised. That's the word on the street, anyway. And as his wife, Kim would have had complete authority over Kanye's wealth, including his cash, properties, art, assets, stock, and his investments. Kanye is a significant collector of art and high-end fashion. Fashion houses such as Louis Vuitton, Hermes, and Givenchy, they've all gifted him with these items due to his collection. And Kanye, you kind of made them even more famous. This is on you. Like, you should have never did all of this. But anyway, that is it for Chris Jenner threatens Kanye after he exposed Kim and Kylie's debt. This is by Drama um, Investigator. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lot. This is the people y'all be worshipping, so... Yeah. The original video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want me to react to next. And goodbye.